Welcome back, fans. We are still tied 3-3. Three to three. No one has been eliminated yet. All six of these men representing their respective teams trying to win Team Immunity here tonight on the fourth episode of HCW one, Survivor. And here in the two. center ring, we see Wu-Tay Man went for a pin attempt on Crimson. That Crimson was able to kick out now. Thunder Horse rushing over to try to assist his partner in this matchup. I'll tell you, fans, it's like I've said a hundred times before, there's just so much at stake. Now we see Dandes climbing up the top of the cage, and he just tried to leap off and hit Dagger and landed on his face. He's able to get right back up. I see Dandes, something uh, really cool about him is that he was the first person ever interviewed on HCW Off the Mat. It's a new talk show hosted by HCW Extreme commentator Daniel Barber. Now, Dan Dust was interviewed earlier this week, and that show is up on the HCW channel. If you'd like to go check it out. Um, the next person that's going to be interviewed on that show is going to be Wu-Tang Man. And there we see fans right there. I don't know if you caught that or not. But that was the very first elimination of the matchup. Dan Dust with a devastating low blow on Dagger. Referee has called Dagger out of the match. And so now Team Alpha is down here 3-2. to two. Wu Tay Man and Travis Banks on their own now, taking on Crimson Thunder Horse and Dan Dust. A dagger, he's finally getting back to his feet here, and he is leaving the matchup. And look at this, fans. Dan Dust and Thunder Horse working together as a unit now, trying to take care of Wu Tay Man. And you got Crimson over here working on Travis Banks. And now Wu Tay Man powering out of a submission hold attempt by Thunder Horse. And he rushes over and actually saves Travis Banks. It's like I said, wu Tay Man and Travis Banks may hate each other, but they put their differences aside long enough to get through here on Survivor. And there we see it, fans. The wu Tang stunner and Dan Dust has been eliminated from the matchup, and now things are tied back up again. Travis Banks and wu Tang Man against Crimson and Thunder Horse. wu Tay Man and Crimson going at it here. We see Thunder Horse and Travis Banks working against each other here on the top of the cell. Winning team gets immunity here, send, sends the losing team to Tribal Council to vote out another member. Now wu Tang has been taken out here. I'm not sure why Crimson didn't try to finish him off. Crimson instead walks over now, tried to pin Travis Banks, but Travis Banks gets up here. Now wu Tang man, all four of these men right here fighting on the outside of the cell. wu Tang man just knocks down Thunder Horse. Now here's the cover, this could be it. Crimson, Crimson needs to get over there. Luckily, Thunder Horse is able to kick out. Crimson was a little bit reluctant to try to help his partner. I tell you, fans, it's like I said, you have got to be man enough to put your differences aside if you want to survive here on HCW Survivor. And I've got to say, I am very, very proud and astonished at Wu-Tang Man and Travis Banks here tonight. And look at there, another Wu-Tang stunner. Thunder Horse has now been eliminated. And look at Travis Blake. Low blow on Crimson, and Crimson eliminated. Unbelievable. Wu-Tang Man and Travis Banks worked together and eliminated all three members of Team Beta by themselves. Unbelievable. I tell you, fans, this thing with Wu-Tang Man and Travis Banks is just unbelievable. I mean, we know that they hate each other. But when they come in here to HCW Survivor, they told each other, look, let's put the differences aside. Let's get as far as we can. Before the last two, let's beat the hell out of each other. Let the best man win. And fans, that's all we got for you. Now headed to Tribal Council. Welcome to HCW Tribal Council. Team Alpha was victorious in the Elimination Chamber matchup. Therefore, Team Beta must vote out their third member here tonight. Now this is gonna put Team Beta down to five members with giving Team Alpha a huge advantage going in the next episode. Right now, Team Alpha has seven members. They've only lost one guy so far. However, Team Beta still has a chance. They can turn things around once again and try to get momentum back in their favor. There's been six votes cast. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be removed from the game immediately. I'll tell it to votes. First vote is four. Thunder Horse. Second vote is four. 
crimson. It's one vote Thunder Horse, one vote crimson. Third vote is for Coochie. One vote crimson, one vote Thunder Horse, one vote for Coochie. The fourth vote is for. Coochie. It's two votes Coochie. One vote Thunder Horse, one vote for Crimson. There are two votes left. The next vote is for Thunder Horse. One vote Crimson, one vote Thunder Horse, or two votes Thunder Horse, two votes Coochie. There's one vote remaining. Right now, Coochie and Thunder Horse are tied. If this last vote is for Crimson, it'll be a three-way tie making a triple threat. If this vote is for anyone else besides Crimson, Coochie, or Thunder Horse, there will be a tiebreaker match between Coochie and Thunder Horse. The last vote. And a fourth contestant voted out of HCW Survivor is Thunder Horse. Thunder Horse has now been voted out. Therefore, Team Beta is now down to five members. Team Alpha has seven members. Tune in next time as HCW Survivor Episode 5. Can Team Beta turn things around, get momentum on their side, and eliminate some people off of Team Alpha before it is too late?